All right, so in the previous video, you learned how to solve a linear equation, um, also solve a special case of linear equation where you had cross multiplication involved. Now let's build this up into next level of complexity where, um, because so far it's, it's just one variable. Right, now let's say I have an equation which is like 2x plus y equals 10. Now there are two unknowns here, which means that if I say um, solve for x, or if I say solve this equation, that instruction or that information is incomplete because when we solve, we solve for something that's unknown, but there are two unknowns here. So just saying solve this equation is not enough. I have to specify which variable I'm solving for, right? So for example, I could say solve for x, meaning you're isolating x. So you subtract y divide by two, the process remains the same. The idea is to be left with just x on one side. Um, and you get this expression here for x. It could also mean solve for y, which means isolate y, in which case you get a different expression. And it's totally fine to have these expressions containing variables because they do not necessarily have to be numbers. But also keep in mind the variables represent numbers, so they are essentially numbers. But they may not look like one, right? So the takeaway from here is an equation may contain several variables and you have to be careful which one you're solving for. The result will not always be a number, it could be an expression involving other variables. For example, um, Q equals MC delta T, um, it's a formula for heat transfer, where each of these variables mean different things. Now let's say you wanna solve for delta T, which is a change in temperature, then you'd start with Q equals MC delta T and get rid of everything else that is not delta t. So you see that's mass and a coefficient c, mc, which is attached via multiplication. So I'm going to divide it to end up with this expression here, which is what I'm interested in. But the idea of isolating the variable, it doesn't change. So you're, you're still doing the same exact thing. Um, last thing that, again, we're going to be using a bunch of times is there's another pair of operation and it's opposite that we are going to encounter in this course. It's squaring and square rooting. Squaring is multiplying the same thing twice and square rooting is the opposite process, which is finding that number, which when multiplied twice gives you that number that you're interested in. So let's just look at an example. I think it will be um, clearer with that. So we have the basic idea of isolating X. Um, that's what we've been practicing. So in this case, uh, we add three on both sides, end up with x squared equals eight. Now in order to get rid of the x squared, we have to do the opposite operation, which is square root. Now the idea behind the opposite operation is that it's an undo button. So it should give you back what you started with, which is just the variable x. So you get x equals square root of eight, which you can leave as is, or you can plug into the calculator and find the value. Um, notation wise, um, the superscript of two means a square and um, this weird tick kind of thing symbol is a square root. And these operations cancel each other. So if you are solving an equation and you end up with square roots, then you square both sides to get the final answer. If you're squaring, you take the square root, okay? so. Basic idea is an equation is um, you're kind of backtracking information, so you have to undo um, things. You know, so you need to apply the inverse operation to undo everything that's been done to the number, and then get that number back. So it's kind of like mining. Um, okay, so that's the end of uh, the material that you'll be working on for this week. Um, Friday, I have the study hall from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Again, it's open for all the classes I'm teaching, so you can just walk in, ask your questions, leave whenever you want. Um, you don't have to stay all, all the time. Um, if you don't have any questions, you don't even have to show up. But it'll be nice to catch up and um, just get to know you and also 
you know, if you have any clarifications that you need about the structure of the class, etc., um, it would be nice if you stop by. Um, that's all. Um, in whatever is due is on my MATLAB, so homework, um, quiz. I'm going to upload a worksheet. You're going to uh, do all the work, take pictures, scan as PDF, and then upload it to the appropriate folder. I'm going to grade it over the weekend and get it back to you. All right. <clears throat>